Hi there. How's it going everybody? In today's video, we are going to be looking at GSF and Amazon S3 Pocket. GSF is a technology used to build web framework. So what we are going to be doing today is we are going to learn how to upload media files to a cloud service called S3, Amazon S3 Pocket. Media files like videos, picture and music. Having said that, let's get right into the code. First of all, we have to create a new project. We say file new, and then we come to dynamic web project. We are going to name the project media, and then select the dynamic version 3.0 that is compatible with GSF, and then we select GSF 2.2. You can also use other dynamic version dynamic web model version but I just stick to 3.0 and I click on next I click on next I tick the generate web XML I click on next as you can see now I did not use the enable user library I came here and I disabled it because I'm going to add the dependency somehow later on through maybe so now I click on finish and then let the project build now we're going to have to import certain libraries that we're going to use to build the framework. First of all, we're going to need to import GSM libraries and then Amazon S3 bucket libraries. So let's get that. So here are the dependencies we are going to update. But before then, we have to convert this our project, as you can see, media that has been created to a dynamic web project. What do I mean by that? We have to convert it to a naming project rather so we can add dependencies. So we right click, go to properties, we come to project preset, we select GDK 1.8 or higher. I'm going to stick to 1.8. You can as well select higher and then we click on apply and close and then to apply those changes. So having got that now, we will now convert. We'll right click again now go to maybe this time uh, configure this time around and then configure to the new project the packaging will be wow leave everything as it is and click on finish now give it time for it to convert and it has converted now so we have downloaded dependencies i forgot to tell you you need internet connection for this to work so you must have internet access for it to go on so now the first thing we have to do now we open up our up the form.xml it might open by default but if you don't know how to open it you just click on this section here and it will open it now we're pasting these dependencies purpose dependencies as plural as packaging and then we paste it in now i'm going to scroll to the very top and then i will format it so you guys can have a proper Are the dependencies we imported these are the dependencies we are going to need to get the api running rather to get the project working so here they are you can pause the video and go through and type it in slowly and once you are through with that then we come again here we we'll save then we we'll right click come to maybe project click on force snapshot you can see highlighted this media and click on ok <coughs> sorry about that and i will leave it to build and then close out of this section now we still have some extra extra configuration we have to do open the web.content go to the web image come to the web.xml that is where we are going to do certain configuration we're going to come here and then we're going to copy this section, duplicate it because we are trying to do what is called mapping. Then we we'll say the XHTML and we we'll duplicate this also. And then we we'll say X. And with this, we have completed the configuration we have to do to get our JSM project working. What's left for us now is to create a web application that's the web interface so i'll right click on my web content go to new 
select HTML file, I'll say index dot x. As you can see, xhtml not html. Then next. Then by default, my selected this for me. Let me increase this. My selected this for me, but you cannot find this. You can as well just come to this top and click on it. Yours might show something like this or something like this. But we'll just come to the top here and select this and then click on finish. And then here we have it, it is created. So now we'll clean this up. Then we'll see header. Sorry, page over head. Going to get it. Then we'll also see page column body. And then we we'll just want to test that everything is working fine. H column we'll see page button but command button and you see back you see uh, submit or rather send and then we put an input field also you see table let's format it properly then we see Package from API from Prime Face, and this is what we're going to use as our 
that which is to be 75 moles. Then I'm going to say string. Uh, uh, let's see. Now, once we have gotten these two, 
only now need now is not to find the class that we call the endpoints. That is the class that is going to talk to the S3 program. So we move right into our package, right? Click on it, new, and then class. Then we see um, post to S3. Find the class that does the connection to the bucket. Sorry, sorry to the S3 rather. We have to define a class that makes connection with the JDBC driver, which in return will connect to the SQL query server. So the same thing we are trying to do here. So first of all, we say AWS and then we look for credentials. So what we'll just do is that 
that's for you. This now will be a value gotten from maybe you or whoever it is, the end user, and they will send it in here. So, sorry, what we have to pass here is see actually not the buckets, then we return it. See. Now, what you have now done is whenever you create a bucket, return whatever it is which was the value that was gotten from the user, it can as well be, or you just have to add it here and run the program and to create it on the server automatically. So, this is one logic this one is one business logic so i'm not going to play this out you know what i'm going to leave it here by coming handy so now we're not going to define the method that actually uploads the file to the amazon exchange project for me to point this is not the beauty of the so that's why we have a suggestion upload i don't know whenever i make these videos i can spell load thank you to pass in three parameters because that's actually four parameters that's what is needed to work with whenever you're uploading a file you can as well pass three but i only want to use this method that accepts four parameters for sake of simplicity and also for sake of security string key name now this key name will be assigned Excuse me if I didn't get that right. Then I'm going to say 
account access control list dot public read then i'm going to pass same rules here and that should do it with this now we have actually made the file we are uploading now publicly accessible to everybody on the internet without authenticating them so this should do it and then with this now we are through with the business logic what's left now to get the keys and we'll get back to that soonest so now what we'll now have to do next is to come back here then we'll now start have to we we'll now have to call that so we'll say new post now we're not calling the create bucket no. what we're actually going to call is the upload which is this guy and we have to pass in all these constraints so first of all as you can as you rightly guessed this has to do with the file that was getting so we say file name hold on let's see okay this will be the bucket so i'll say file name now this bucket i didn't i wasn't supposed to define it yet so i have to come back here and clean that up and then use this which we defined at the top here as the bucket so we say see there then we have to move this Just call this file name. Then we have to say the file parts and then yes, which is the byte input string. So now we'll come down here and we have to define a method called object object sorry, object matter data, which has to come from Amazon meta.
all right now this is the section where we are going to create a new user how did i get here once i came to aws let me go back to the home page so you can see it so you just have to create an account and sign in for you to be able to land here normally when you launch your own go to this url aws you just type it into your web server into your browser rather it's going to take you to this page so once you click on this you need to tell you to sign up or create an account just follow the steps and sign in once you sign in then you'll be directed to somewhere like this this is the aws management console for those of you that don't have an account please look at other videos on how to create an account but for those of you that have an account you can just carry along here so i'm going to type on users sorry i'm going to type on i am it's going to get me to this section so i'm going to create users This section I'm going to click on add user. I'm going to click on user and I'm going to say um, media media app. Hopefully that name is acceptable. Programmatical access and AWS console access. Now it's going to ask me for a custom password. You know what? I'm just going to remove this AWS custom password access. Um, on the second thought, I think I'll have to add this AWS custom access. Then I'm going to add the custom password and I'm going to say password as you can see it says I still need to add something so underscore so let me take something else again save that here I know I'm exposing my password but this is not the Verified account. So after this, I'm going to delete it so it doesn't matter. So I will check this section. I'll click on next. And now I need to add it. I need to grant it permission to the files and the section it can. So I'm going to say Amazon. Let's refresh. Let's attach existing policy. So now I'm going to that for S3 because that is the policy group. That is the this is the instance we want to make use of. So I'm going to click on this. Let's see. Uh, I tried, I wasn't supposed to click on that, I was supposed to go back. So I'm going to just go to step back just one, one bit. And I'm going to click on this. I'm supposed to indicate by checking on it, not clicking on it. So I click on next. This is optional, so I'll leave that that way. I'll click on next. So you can see now media app, programmatic assets, there's a custom password, require for the door, permission boundary is not set, AWS assets, and I'll click on create user. Now it's creating the user for me. So just wait and let it do its job. So as soon as it finishes creating the user, I'll get back to you. Alright, that's created user. So now this is what we need now. This is the access key and this is the secret key. These are what we are going to add to this section here. Here and then here. These two sections. So I'm going to, in your own case, you're not supposed to display this to your users, but I'm just using for this tutorial purpose. So I'm going to copy this. This is the access key. I'm going to come in here, which is this. Paste it here. And I'm going to come also to this section. So I can get it copied and then paste it here also. These are the two keys that we need to get from our AWS. So now we will click on close. Now I'm going to go to this. App. So as you can see now we have access to this guy. So now we are going to now test this our application and see if it truly works. So now we're going to come here and save the program. See why we have this error. This error is not right. The error is gone. So we'll now come back to the home page and then we'll try and give we'll now give it a try. Now let's see if everything works out the way we expect it to work. Uh sluggish laptop why is my laptop sluggish? Right. So right here I have to put the title. 
is not mandatory i'm just putting it just for the sake of saying let's follow the process right so oh come on my laptop is sluggish right so now let me save file save it right click and then run the project run on server all should go well. We should have the file created on our S3 bucket dynamically. This is a folder in the S3 bucket and the, the, the picture will be uploaded to it and it can be publicly accessible. We are going to try it with the picture, we are going to try it with the music file, and we are going to try it with the MP4 file, which is a video file. So let's wait while the program runs. I'm going to pause the video now because it's taking long. Once the program runs, I'm going to continue the video now. Then, so here we have it. The program has run and it has displayed. So now I'm going to choose a file. Uh, we're going to start by a picture file. We're going to name it picture dot g. Let me use the extension png. And I'm going to send. We don't have an error, so it's sending. Don't forget you need internet connection for this to work. So I think it has gone. Now let's open up our program and look at the console to see if we have any error. Okay, we have an error, and what does it say? The bucket is in a region VSC21. Please use the region that and retry. Okay, I think the bucket is actually in this region. Like I told you, it was supposed to be generated, so I forgot to check to see what region the pocket was created. So I have to come back and let me see. Uh, let's see. Let me change this to this suggestion that was given to me, US East 1. So I'm going to close this out come back here and then use of this I'm going to see US underscore east and let's see east one so this suggestion I'm using what what was given to me by this guy here oh, this coming slow nowadays this guy here US East one is what I was using as the default so I'm going to save you know, I'm going to restart the server this time stop and then restart so now let me go to S3 and see if the file was created or the bucket was created. So I'm going to click on it. Okay, this is now I'm supposed to come. I'm supposed to come and type S3. Hopefully it all goes well. I'm going to click on that. Let it load. of buckets available for now testing purpose so if we create we're supposed to see buckets in the bucket creator what we have here now is five so now let's run our project and see yes. I have a comeback online let me see go to the console it's still coming online so we just give it some time I think it's ready now so I'll just go and refresh the page session because this session must, must should have inspired and then reload the page so let's see so now I'm going to say picture dot png I'm going to choose a picture so I'm going to go with this fabric and I'm going to go send hopefully at this time everything goes well uh, let's see So, oh, we are still having an issue. Let's see. Access denied. Uh, okay, I think I need to still grant some certain access to the bucket. So, I'm going to have to pause the video now and then check on it, and I'll get back to you guys.
all right i was able i was actually able to figure the error out i it wasn't supposed to start this with capital letter and this bucket is just like a it's the kind of stereotype is already known so i'm supposed not to use this so what i'm supposed to, i'm supposed to change this for example is media 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 file send let me use something like this sorry this is send so this is supposed to be dot sorry us west because this was the region it was created in so i corrected that and i'm going to save everything and then i'm going to retry the program now so i'll right click run as So I'm going to pause the video and once the program has completed its update, I'm going to start it again. So here we have it. The program has completed its loading and it has displayed the UI. So I'll just refresh the page. And I'm going to choose a file. I'm going to select this. I'm going to name it. You might start asking at some point most is this what the user is going to be doing each time he wants to upload a video or upload a picture or whatever it is so i'm going to make a separate video on how whereby you don't have to input this field rather the program will generate a name from the current system millisecond and nanosecond then it will check the extension of the file you selected and it will know the extension is going to give you which is it was a music file this will be dot mp3 it was a video file mp4 and it was a music to be png so i'm going to try i'm going to make a separate video on that so for now this is what i'm going to do and also i'm going to now make it whereby <coughs> excuse me you can now read the uploaded content back into the ui so i'm going to create another button here that when we click on it we can either play if it is a video the music or a picture i'm going to make a separate video whereby we can also view what you have been of what is being uploaded to the s3 server so now i'm going to go to my aws and i'm going to refresh the page hopefully we should see the newly created buckets so here you go media file send as you can see media file set and then if you should open it up you should have a file there we go picture1.png and if you click on it it should be publicly accessible so if i click on this link you should see the file uploaded and here we go coming from the internet direct so now i'm going to now try with the music now <coughs> i'm going to choose a file this time i'm going to go to my Music folder, and I'm going to look for this. Uh, let me just try this trick. I hope I don't get copyright issues with this. So I'm going to name this to music one dot mp3. Like I said, this will be done by the program in the next video. But for now, this is just for it. So I'm going to send this. to go to the console and check on the we have any errors no so everything went well we'll come back to our web application that is the ui go back and then this time we should have two files now one dot mp3 one dot png so let it load up it's loading so i have to go back here we go now mp3 now if i click on this and then i click on this link we should have our audio rock a shot more vibes nah, baby, nah. i don't know budget, but we don't know for real next time guarantee the truth will get revealed black on the next part like i said we're going to create something like this whereby we can we don't need to view it from 
end of years. Rather, we're going to delete from our own web application we created. So now I'll go back and I'll do the third one. I'll come out, select another picture, I'll take another file, then this time I'll go to music to video. Uh, now call something let me look for a very light video let's say how to push key our code to get up video we should do and i'm going to say video dot mp4 and i'm going to send so this might take a bit longer because it's a video file and i think the size of this is a bit bigger so let it upload and then we're going to check it Maybe my internet connection is slow this time around. We're just going to wait and see. So, if you guys have any questions so far, or you guys want me to create another video, please feel free to drop it in the comment section below. I think that's gone. Let me check. Yeah, no errors. And I'll come here. And I'll come to this media file. And then here we have it video. Now, we'll click on this. And we scroll here. We should have. Hello guys, this is Stevie Calder here and today's video I will teach you about how to push your repository. So here we have it, three different media files all uploaded with GSF technology.